Hello Nippies, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Nips, a freelance artist and today we are going to be working on a pretty old drawing that is part of a series that I used to have called Deck Doodles and if you don't know what that is, they are doodles where I draw characters from the game Legends of Runeterra, which is a card game owned by Riot Games and each doodle has characters that are part of popular decks from the game. And I already made speed paints of the rest of the doodles that I did for the series, so if you want to go check them out, definitely do. I'm super proud with how they came out. And before we get into the actual drawing, I do have a little word from our sponsor for this video, XP Pen. From July 16th to the 17th, XP Pen is having a prime day sale on their Amazon storefront for up to 50% off some incredible tablets. I've worked with them many times before and reviewed some of them myself. One of them being the Magic Drawing Pad, which is a thin, light, and portable 12 inch standalone Android drawing tablet. It's got an X3 Pro pencil that has 16K pressure levels and doesn't need to be charged, which is wild. Low blue light eye protection and an etched glass surface that is basically like a realistic pen and paper experience. It's even got up to six months of free access to Metabang and Ibis Paint. And for those that need something comfy and portable, honestly, this is it. I also did the Artist Pro 16 Gen 2, which is a 2560 by 1600 high resolution screen tablet with an etched glass surface and same as the last one, realistic pen and paper experience, 16K pressure levels and a wide color gamut coverage with a ratio of 99% sRGB. It's also got an ergonomic design for wrist support because that's the moneymaker aided by a 19% angle using built-in fold-out legs and low blue light eye protection. Let's not make drawing painful, please. It's also got a cute separate wireless shortcut remote to make your drawing process more efficient and flexible. And last but not least, the Artist 15.6 Pro, which is a 15.6 inch fully laminated display with 60 degrees of tilt function and a little dial interface that combines eight fully customizable shortcut keys. I've loved every single one of them and not only were they cost efficient before, but they'll definitely be cost efficient now. And they're definitely gonna have tons more available that you can look through if these don't catch your eye. So again, check their Amazon storefront July 16th to the 17th for all the deals. I'll be including all the links down below. And thank you again to XP Pen for sponsoring this video. And now back to the drawing. So like I said, this drawing is pretty old. It's from 2022 and Maybe some of you might not consider that old, but I think I judge time in art or maybe in any craft by how much I feel like I improved. And since then, I feel like I've learned quite a bit of things. And in some parts, I feel like I might have actually gone backwards, but that's besides the point. That's for another video. And this here is of Ari and Kenan. I have done so many of these and these doodles are actually some of my favorite, especially of a series that I have ever done. I did Sejuani Timo with a little Ezreal in the back. I did Pantheon Yumi with a Shivana and the Tariq in the back. I did Senna, Vagar, Leeson, and Zoe all in one. We did some spicy ones with Miss Fortune and Quinn, Ash LeBlanc. Ooh, Ezreal Draven and oh my goodness, Callista Viego, which this one has whole lore behind it or it doesn't because this is literally one of my favorite pairings of all time and I did not know until I posted it that they were related. So in my mind, I now have to delete that information because it is literally one of my favorite pairings. So I just choose to ignore it. It almost ruined the entire pairing for me because that's what happens when you don't know the lore, but now I kind of also can't unsee it. So here we are. One of the most fun things about these sets of drawings was incorporating the characters in a way that would make them interact with their own special traits. 
So for example, the Sejuani Teemo, I had them swap helmets with the Pantheon Yumi. I had Pantheon reading Yumi's book. And these sorts of interactions, not just in this series of drawings, but in any drawing is one of my favorite things to do. I think making characters feel like they're interacting is such a beautiful thing to do. And with this one specifically, if you don't know who these characters are, this is Kenan, a tiny little Yordle ninja. And then we have Ari, a beautiful nine-tailed fox. And I thought it would be fun because their outfits have beautiful designs and it would be cute if I swapped them and kind of tried to match their designs with the original design of the character. And Ari has this thing where she blows a heart and she charms you. And it's like this pink aura. And Kenan uses lightning as his power. And so I thought it would be fun to have him try and do Ari's very iconic charm Except since Kenan's power is lightning, of course we have a little lightning heart and you know what happens when lightning strikes and that is why I put little chibis in the corner trying to make the drawing a little bit more fun and interactive, kind of like a mini comic and have her just fried to the core. You'll see here that I'm actually using Clip Studio Paint. I don't know how many of my videos you've watched, but I do tend to frequent going back and forth between these programs. I get a lot of questions about which one specifically I use. And I also use Procreate, but that's on the iPad. And I do use them all for very different things. So Clip Studio Paint, I really like to use for very quick doodles. And the reason is there's one specific brush on here called Bit Husky. That is just, I cannot find a Photoshop equivalent. I have tried making it and I just can't seem to get it exactly how I like it. And you apparently cannot import brushes from Clip Studio. So if that ever happens and you're watching this in the future and it's available, please let me know because I just, I love this brush so much. And so I really love the flow of it and it just has a beautiful, quick, kind of vibe to it. So there is a lot of things that I like doing in Photoshop that are kind of not available in Clip Studio. And so it also forces me to work quickly, which, you know, I tried, but this drawing, the length of this speed paint without it being sped up is around five to six hours. So definitely not as quick as I wanted it to be, but the thought and the spirit were there. So I also like to use this program for my webcomic off sell because this version of Clip Studio, which I think is EX, has a webtoon and webcomic function. And it is just so incredible, especially if you've used it before, you know that you can open a new kind of webcomic project. You can set the sizes very specifically, the bleed, the amount of pages you want to do, how you want to print it, how you want to number it. And for Webtoon, you can set how far down you want to scroll. And it's just such a versatile tool, especially if you're going back and forth from one page to the other. And it saves it all in one file. I used to do all of this in Photoshop before I discovered this and having to open up all the files constantly and not be able to see all the files in a corner in their thumbnails is just so tedious. So if you are a webcomic or webtoon artist, I would highly recommend looking into this program. And Photoshop is my main tool. A lot of the finalized, very polished illustrations that I do are exclusively on Photoshop. So that's just my comfort program. And there are a lot of functions in Photoshop that do not exist in Clip Studio. Now, I'm saying this as somebody who has not bought the new versions of Clip Studio. From what I know, there are, I think the latest one is three. There's a version three and I have not upgraded. So I might be just saying this because I have the old version. So I would definitely check out that version and see how close it is to Photoshop. But otherwise, I absolutely love Photoshop for those sorts of things. But, you know, on a side tangent, you already know the route that Adobe is going down. So I may or may not just stop using Photoshop entirely. 
And so the last program I use is Procreate and Procreate is exclusively on the iPad. I recently discovered it is not on Android and that is such a shame because I really thought that it was just on all tablets and I sometimes recommend Android tablets. And I don't think, I don't think I could do that anymore because I just cannot believe that Procreate is not on those. And it's just such an incredible program. I think it's still like $10 and they continuously update it, continuously make it better. And so I ride or die for that program. And one of the things I really like to use it with is animation and I'm not a formal animator by any means so I would probably take my word with a grain of salt but it is where I do that and it's just so fun to do. I know that Procreate came out with the program Dreams which is solely an animating app. I have not tried it uh, because you have to buy it and I'm not sure. I have seen the reviews. They are absolutely terrible. And so I'm very skeptical about getting my hands on that, but I do want to try Clip Studio for animating. My best friend, FF Sade, if you have not seen their work, incredible. She does animation now and she, everything she creates literally looks like an official anime and she loves to use Clip Studio. So she really encouraged me to look into it, try it out. So maybe in the future, that is what I'll be looking into for another function of my usage with Clip Studio. To get back into the actual drawing process itself, you'll see here that I'm starting to add kind of the arbitrary black color to put in the actual colors on top. And for this style specifically, if you've watched the other speed paints in this series and maybe even some of my recent sketches, because this is kind of not how I used to sketch back in the day, but my biggest problem here is that I add the flat colors and I'm like, oh, this looks great. But how much detail I add after this is where I don't know how to stop myself. So I want it to look sketchy and I want it to not take me too much time. But I also kind of wanted to have some dimension. So sometimes I'll add shadows here and there to kind of denote what is in the front, what is in the back and just to add some volume. And I'll just get stuck adding and adding. I'm like, just a little shadow here, just a little shadow here. And then maybe I'll add a gradient here and maybe a highlight here and maybe some screen layer backlighting here. And then, you know, like I said, unsped paint, five hours later, I'm still going. So definitely my biggest struggle with these is actually keeping it a sketch. And if you have watched me on stream, or followed me long enough to know we have a meme in the community called hashtag just a sketch because I say it's gonna be a sketch and then half a day later, I'm still on this supposed sketch. Either way, memes aside, I really do like how this hashtag just a sketch came out and the other ones. I learned a lot from them and with learning comes experience and with experience comes speed. So hopefully one day they won't actually take six hours. So I will put the links of this drawing and the other drawings down below if you want to see them. And of course, their corresponding videos probably in the top right corner if you want to check them out. And also, of course, our sponsor XP Pen for this video. I'll put the links down below. So let me know if you like the video down below in the comments and like it if you did like it. I'm sorry it's an old VOD. Uh, it's what I had lying around right now. I don't have any current ones. Hopefully you enjoyed the art and the commentary and subscribe. Join the Nippy family. The more the merrier. We just hit 70k. Maybe we'll be able to hit 100k by the end of the year. I have a really fun idea for the 100k video, though I suppose that's going to be foiled by the fact that I do have a small hiatus announcement. I kind of touched on it on a post on my YouTube page. So I'm not sure if I'll make a dedicated video to it, but if you're curious, you can read it on the page. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually not sure when the next video will be because of that hiatus announcement, but I really appreciate it. And I guess I will see you guys next video whenever that is. Bye.